Hey there, tech fans. Today I've got the brand new Autel Micro Portable Battery Bank. And boy, am I excited to be talking about this product because battery banks have been around for a long time. There's a lot of companies that make them. And let's be honest, after a while, they all start looking the same. Not this product. Because what Autel has done is they've looked at the portable power station market and they build products in that space. And they've taken a lot of the technological advancements in that portable power station market and they shrunk those down into a portable battery bank that really has plenty of power. It's got plenty of ports. You can put it in your pocket and you can charge all of your thirsty portable devices whenever you're away from home from this unit. And there are features in here that you won't find in other battery banks on the market that really separate it from the crowd. And I'll explain all that in a minute. But I always like to start with a quick unboxing first, just to show you everything that's included with the product. And then I'll talk about the specifications, because I know a lot of people like to compare one battery bank against another based on the pure specs, but it doesn't stop there. I have to say it again, what Autel's built here is a product that charges differently, holds the charge differently, delivers the internal charge externally differently. So it really is a new class of portable battery bank that I think you're gonna really appreciate. But let me get started with the unboxing because I'm getting ahead of myself. So when you first pop open the box, you'll find the micro. And boy, is this a beautiful looking unit. I mean, it's built, it's built with like a top level engineering. It's got a metal exterior, it's an aluminum exterior. It's just got a really good feel in your hand. And the fit and finish on this thing really screams high end. It's built to look good and really operate well. And it's light as well. I mean, it's 15 ounces. Now to compare that, that's lighter than a can of soda. Here's a bottle of water. Look at the size comparison with a bottle of water. It's smaller than the bottle of water, weighs less than the bottle of water. So if you've got a backpack, you could slide this into one of the side pockets and you'll have this portable energy source that you can charge all of your gear with. So pretty cool there. It has 15,000 milliamp hours of internal energy. Now that isn't big, it isn't small, it's right in that Goldilocks zone because most portable battery banks on the market are 10,000 milliamp hours, which isn't quite enough if you've got a few people along with you that want to charge their phones. And then there are 20,000 milliamp hour battery banks, which are bigger and bulkier, and you may think twice about bringing it along. This one fits right in the middle. It's 15,000 milliamp hours, which gives you plenty of energy to recharge a phone five, six, seven times, depending on the charge levels. Charge a tablet, charge your watch, charge your ear pods, charge your camera batteries. You can plug a lot of stuff into it. And by the way, you can charge four things at the same time from this unit. I'll show you how that works in a minute. All right, in addition to that, you'll find a full manual included that lists everything you could possibly want to know about the micro, how to charge it, how to use it, how to take care of it. So always read through the manual to make sure you get the best value out of the product. All right, so let me talk about the micro and let me start with the construction. Now, a lot of battery banks on the market use a plastic case, which I, I think they do to cut down on cost. This one has got an aluminum exterior. Now, the reason that's important is because, number one, it makes it more durable. So when you throw this in your computer bag or your backpack, it's not going to crack if it bangs up against something. The heat's not going to get to it. But it also helps with heat dissipation because an aluminum case like this allows any heat that's generated during charging or discharging to sort of radiate off the unit. It's gonna get hot. I mean, when you charge a unit like this, you're putting electrons into it, you're moving energy into it, it's gonna warm up a little bit. So having an aluminum case means it'll radiate that heat and keep everything inside nice and cool. It's the same when you're using it. If you've connected it up to a phone or a tablet and the electrons are flowing out of it into that device, it's gonna get a little warm. So having an aluminum case is a really nice deal. I like the fact that it's simple too. It's, it's easy in your hand, it's not flat and bulky. So again, you can slide it in your backpack and you're off and running. 15,000 milliamp hours is a lot of power, like I'd mentioned a minute ago. It's airplane safe. You can take it with you anytime you travel. You're not going to have any problems at the airport with it. Let's talk about the battery chemistry next, because the problem with most battery banks on the market is that they're using an older battery chemistry, which is based on lithium polymer technology, which was okay 10 years ago, and it's probably what's used in most of the laptops out there today. But lithium polymer technology, even though it holds a charge, it's not great in hot and cold weather. So if it's really hot or really cold, it doesn't hold the charge well. It can't deliver that charge to external devices and you shouldn't charge it if it's really hot or really cold. It also isn't great for holding onto a charge for a while. So with most of the battery banks, if you charge them on a Monday and you head out for a trip on a Thursday, you may find that the battery bank's already down to 75 or 80%. And you gotta recharge it before you head out on your trip. The third thing, which is really important, which is the one thing that this excels at, 
is the number of recharge cycles. So those other battery banks that are based on standard lithium polymer technology, you're lucky if you get 200 charges out of that battery bank. And if you think about that, that seems like a lot of charges, but if you're using that battery bank often, that's a couple of years of use and you can't change the batteries. They're inside the unit. So that's a challenge. This one uses the latest battery chemistry in the market. It's lithium iron phosphate, which is used on most EVs on the market. And Autel knows the thing or two about EVs because they make charging stations, they make analysis gear for cars, they make portable power stations. So they understand battery technology really well. It's one of the first battery banks that I've tested that has lithium iron phosphate batteries inside. Now, the reason that's important is because that battery chemistry is advanced. It's 10 years ahead of LiPo. And what it does is provide a longer charge retention, which means if I charge it on a Monday, it could go a week or two and I'll still have a full charge in it. So that's great. It also handles hot and cold weather very well. So if you're camping, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be cold. Don't worry about it. This is gonna work just great. The big thing though, is it provides a ton more recharge cycles, which means this one, well over 3000 recharge cycles. Now, if you do the basic math on that, if you were to charge it every day and discharge it every day, which you know you're not gonna do, that's about 10 years of use. So you're gonna be able to use it a long time. So when you compare this just on that fact alone between this and a standard battery bank, this is like 10X what you'll get out of the use of another battery bank. So that's really important. But more importantly than that even is the fact that there are circuits inside here that have seven different levels of protection. So it's really good at detecting hot and cold weather. If it gets really hot, it's gonna turn off so it's not gonna damage the internal cells. It also has overcharge detection, uh, current detection. It's got short circuit detection. So it not only protects the batteries inside, but it also protects external devices, which is something I wanna talk about next because what you have here is a very dense, high energy, uh, battery that you can charge and take out in the field and charge other devices, but it has to be safe when you're charging it. When you're pushing electrons into it, you want to be sure that the product will actually handle that. It'll balance the charge across the batteries. So that circuit handles all of the charging internally to balance out that charge. But more importantly, it actually protects the external devices you connect to it because this is not a terribly expensive product, but this is a terribly expensive product. This is, almost dropped it. This is the terribly expensive product. So you want to make sure that you're not damaging the really expensive stuff you're charging from it, and that circuit handles that. Now, as far as connectivity goes, on the side of the unit, there's a magnetically attached USB-C cable, so you can plug this directly into a device like a phone here. I'll plug it into this phone real quick, and I'll turn it on. And it'll charge it directly, so that's nice because I can charge the phone directly off the USB-C. In addition to that, there are two more connections on the end. There's a USB-C there and a QC there. And then in addition to that, both of those complement this top, which is a Qi charger. So if you've got a wireless, like an Apple Watch or some other device that charges through the Qi standard, you can drop it on the top of the unit and charge it from there. So you've got four different ways to charge things. Let me talk about the connections first, because over the years, the change in the way things are charged really happened pretty quickly. And fast charging has become a really big deal for a lot of products. So for example, uh, this tablet, this phone, a few other products I've got will fast charge. And what I mean by fast charging is if you have the right charging resource like this, when you connect it to a device that can accept the fast charge, the first thing that device does, this battery bank, it will interrogate that product when I connect it. It'll figure out what the current charge level is and what type of quick charging it uses. And it'll adjust the voltage and current of the charge to flatter that device, to quickly and safely charge that device. Now, older LiPo-based battery banks don't have that capability in most cases. So you're just basically throwing five volts at two amps at that device and it'll take as long as it takes to charge it. With this one, you'll find that you can charge that device a lot quicker because it has both QC, which is quick charging technology, and PD, which is power delivery technology inside the unit. So when I connect this up to an external device, It'll interrogate that device. It'll determine the power it needs. It delivers exactly that charge level to that device. That's really important. That's also true on charging the device. So for example, on the end, there's a USB-C right there. That's what you'll use to charge it. So you'll connect this up to a standard wall charger or USB wall charger and charge the device. If that wall charger is a PD charger or a QC charger, it'll actually interrogate this device and adjust the voltage and current to quickly and safely charge this. So you're getting benefits of quick charging on the way in and on the way out, which again, you won't find on battery banks in the market in most cases. So it'll quick charge the device, the device can externally quick charge other devices. 
In addition to that, I really like the fact that I've got this charger on the top. I don't know if you saw that, but watch this. It's got a magnet where it centers it, so I'm using, these are just AirPods, but if I slide them on there and just touch them, watch what happens. It finds the magnet and zeroes right in in that charging. It just starts charging the device. You can do the same with your phone. I'm mean, sorry, with your watch. So if you've got an Apple watch or some other watch that quick charges over a, a Qi charge, pop it on the top, you can charge that while you're charging other devices from it. So pretty cool there. Uh, again, I've got an Apple product here. It uses the older Apple connection and I've got a USB-C connection here. I've got a couple of charging cables. This one's USB-C to USB-C. I'll plug it into the USB-C port, plug it into my phone. Boom, it starts charging. If I want to charge my tablet, I've got a USB-A connection here that plugs into the other port. And I'll plug that, again. it's always tough with USB-A to get it in right. And I'll plug this into my tablet and boom, it's charging my tablet. So what it gives me is a, a really large storage of energy or electrons that are delivered safely to external devices. So I'm feeling good that I can charge these devices on my next camping trip. I can charge them safely. It's keeping track of how much current's being sent to them. It's making adjustments on the fly. So what it's doing for me ultimately is, I mean, when we get down to the nut of it, you're, you're buying a battery here. That's what it is, a very sophisticated advanced chemistry battery that you can charge quickly through PD or QC. It'll hold the charge for a long time. It actually can be recharged a lot of times, well over 3,000 times, and that charge internally is delicately being delivered to external devices, so you're safely charging these things with no danger of damaging your expensive electronics. So for me, what Autel has built here, in a lot of ways, is the ultimate charging solution for me in a portable device. If I'm not going to bring a big power station with me in the field, and I don't like to do that, if all I care about is portable devices that charge over USB, then this product's going to handle it. And it, again, it's in a portable format that's easy to bring along. It weighs less than a can of soda, like I'd mentioned. I, I giggle when I say that because battery banks shouldn't be that light, but it's that lithium iron phosphate technology that makes it lighter and still gives me the punch of 15,000 milliampere hours. So for me, this has got everything I need in the field. It's reasonably priced compared to other battery banks. So I don't know why you would make a choice to go with another battery bank over this one. I think Autel's really hit it out of the park with this particular micro product. And I like it an awful lot. And I think you'll like it too. So thanks an awful lot for watching. I hope you found value in this review. And until next time, as always, <laughs> stay nerdy.